Hey guys, Anna Lunchbox here, um, picking up where I left off from the last video. Um, this is a tutorial section about sound connections. Sound connections are an extremely important custom class that comes with Sound Manager Pro. They are literally the backbone of your background music setup, so I'm going to go as detailed as possible about this. So what are sound connections? They tie a bunch of clips, a play method, and various other variables together. You can tie a sound connection to the scene or create a custom sound connection and call it to play anytime you want. What's great about sound connections is that they handle the dirty work for you and it literally takes two seconds to create one. So let's go to the add sound connections uh, section. Let's close the rest of these. Um, so here, let's select a couple clips and just drag and drop them in here. Um, and so now I want to choose a level. Uh, these are the remaining levels left in my build settings along with uh, a custom section here where I can add a name, my custom. Um, or But this for right now, we're just going to select music scene two. Uh, and you want to select the play method. Uh, there are various play methods here. There's three main types. Continuous play, which just plays through all the tracks and keeps looping through all of them. Once play, just plays through all the tracks once. And shuffle play, loops through all the tracks, but in a random order each time. So it's truly random rather than playing through the same random loop over and over again. Uh, and then each of those have variations of delay. So you can select delay, which sets the amount of seconds in between uh, each sound connection, or each sound, sorry. Um, the thing about delay is that it waits until after the song has completely stopped playing. It doesn't, it doesn't include the crossfade time. Um, this is more meant for scenes that need to have a variable amount of silence in between them. So as you'd imagine, random delay in range is a uh, random delay in between a minimum and maximum amount. But for now, let's just do continuous playthrough. After that's done, we can just press finish and add sound connection. And here it is add to our sound connections list. What's also great is that after you create a sound connection, you can view this content. So here we can see music scene two. It shows us a play method, a short description of what the play method does, and a song list of all the tracks in my sound connection. I can also edit this if I wanted to do on the fly. So if I want to edit the order of this, Let's do move this up, move this down, and let's remove one. It's easily done with no problem. So now let's go and see how the sound connections work when loading scenes. So let's play music scene one and go through each of the music scenes. So as you can see, it was going through each of the sound connections with a cross duration of 5 seconds that we set. An interesting feature is that when changing sound connections, the AI will pick up on certain situations automatically for you. For example, if you're changing sound connections and are planning to play the same song that's currently playing, it won't start that particular song over again, it will just continue playing it. Or if you're crossfading out of a song that is meant to play, it will just cross it back in instead of starting it over. And if you enter a scene with no sound connections, it will treat it as a silent scene and play nothing or cross out if it's playing something. Lastly, even if you constantly change scenes rapidly, Sound Manager Pro will handle it perfectly. It is actually button match tested. You can actually do that right now. So let's start in Music Scene 3 and then button mash and come back to music scene three at the end. This is a pretty recognizable song, so you'll know when we come back to it. So 
So as you see, we return to the song because we never finished crossfading out. And it's still at the spot that we started playing. Um, so if you want to dig deeper, playing with sound connections is actually easily modifiable in code. So now we're at the Anti Lunchbox website and we're at the documentation section. And here's the documentation on Sound Manager Pro. So there are a couple, there's a whole section just on sound connection functions here. But to start off, I want to go to the music player functions. Let's click that. You don't necessarily have to abide by the sound manager AI, um, but you can use it to your advantage. So if you want to ignore the level loading AI, you can use this function set ignore level load. So that will, that will turn off the level loading AI whenever you want. That way you can still use the intelligent AI, but set when you want sound connections to play yourself. Um, so if we go back up to the sound connection uh, area, you'll find uh, create sound connection. Makes it really easy for you to create sound connections on the fly. And then there's play connection uh, with two overloads where you can either play a sound connection on the sound manager by using its level name or play a sound connection that you created with create sound connection. Um, you can add, remove, or replace sound connections on the sound manager at any time. You can also get sound connection for a level or see if a level contains a sound connection itself. Now let's go back to the editor and talk about crossfade length. As you can see, it seems like a global variable that's shared amongst all sound manager pro. There is a reason that it's a global variable not attached to each sound connection. It would just be confusing which sound connection took priority. So instead, I gave you guys the freedom to change this variable on the fly. So along with crossfade duration, there are many other useful instance variables that you can access with soundmanager.instance. So let's go back to the documentation. At the bottom, you can see a bunch of useful instance variables. Um, and one of them is current sound connection, and then there's also the cross duration. So with soundmanager.instance.cross duration, you can change this variable um, to whatever you want before you change scenes. And additionally, that you can set up events to fire on song change. You can find these four events here. These events will only fire once before being reset. In terms of granularity, everything is made readily available to you if you wish to modify them. I tried to name the variables appropriately so that's intuitive. So that about covers it for sound connections. Comment on the forums if you have further questions. Click any of the video links on the edges to delve further into Sound Manager Pro. Happy game making.